It's one of the most eagerly anticipated Christmas blockbusters, but Rogue One, the first spin-off from the hugely successful Star Wars film franchise, is also something of a gamble as it features none of the familiar characters. Tonight, the film's British stars attended a screening in London where they could see how the all-new cast went down with fans. Our entertainment correspondent Lizo Mazumba reports. Fans here only expected to see stars like Felicity Jones on screen this evening. But the cast and crew made a surprise appearance in person. We have a mission for you. A major weapons test is imminent. This spin-off, set just before the events of 1977's original Star Wars film, features a new collection of characters, notably a lead who is female. We're going to Jeddah. That's a war zone. An important signal to a Hollywood increasingly concerned with gender. Well, it's absolutely fantastic. It's vital that we have these kind of parts for women. And, and as soon as I heard about the part, I just jumped at the chance. I'd been looking for something like this for many, many years. So, so when, I, when I read the script, it was a, it was a bit of a no-brainer. Star Wars perhaps means more to many film fans than any other franchise. And a movie like this represents a step into the unknown for the filmmakers, not to mention the astronomical sums involved in making these stories. Disney paid more than $4 billion for the right to keep making Star Wars movies. To get a return on that investment, they need not only for the main series of films to do well, but also the standalones of which this is the first. And they're hoping it'll be greeted by audiences with an explosion of anticipation. As well as its female central character, its diverse cast is another area where producers hope Rogue One will resonate with audiences. The time to fight is now. Well, it's fantastic to be able to take the lead with something like Star Wars and be able to cast with this degree of diversity. I'd love to see this happen in a lot more movies, and I think it's going to be. If gender and diversity do help it on the way to box office success, it could perhaps help Hollywood change even more rapidly, all thanks to events in a galaxy far, far away. Lisa Mazimba, BBC News. Well, a little bit closer to home. Newsnight's about to begin over on BBC Two.